friends, I'm Rosa, welcome to the channel. So today I have a double fairy loot unboxing. I swear I've been waiting for, or for me to open this for like weeks by now because this arrived kind of early. This is the adult July one. Meanwhile, this has arrived kind of late this month. So we have the YA box and the adult box to, un, uh, to unbox. And I think I've been slightly spoiled for the look of this book. I know what books are in both of the boxes though. Actually, I think I've been spoiled spoiled on the YA one as well. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. <laughs> People sometimes are a little bit bad with spoiler tagging on Discord servers and such. So that's just a thing. I've been a little bit unfortunate about it or a little bit unlucky with it. It is what it is, but still it's different to hold the books in your hands, you know? So Anyway, if you want to check out Fairy Loot, I'm not affiliated with them in any way whatsoever, just want to say, but if you want to check them out, I will leave a link to their website and also their Instagram in the description box. But enough said, let's get started. I'm actually sitting in my office recording this unboxing today, which is completely unusual. We're starting with the YA box because it's going to take the longest. So that's what we're going to do. All right. I can't remember the theme though. As for right now, we're the fandoms. We're going to guess that it's stuck and it's also stuck to my hair. <laughs> We're gonna guess the fandoms though. Oh my god, who, who packed this? So snug. Okay. So, literally is giving nothing away. Nothing whatsoever. Okay, let's start with this item. I see a couple of, oh, what? Oh, there's a secret book in there. A secret tome. I can't find my, um, where, where's my, spo we gotta get the spoiler card first. Like, before anything else, oh no, I don't need more of these. Anyway, gotta get the spoiler card first. Why is it in the bottom? I got it. What is the theme? Oh, I like this, the art. The theme is Cruel Intentions? Isn't that a book? No. Oh wait, no, that's a movie. It's a movie, Cruel Intentions. Isn't it? The three spit, withers, pith, pitherspoon? Uh, Reese Witherspoon and also, isn't it called Cruel Intentions? I can't, cruel, maybe it's called something else. It might be called something, I don't know, anyway. We have the first item, which says Cruel Intentions Magnetic Bookmarks, and it's by No One Designs, or it's designed by No One Designs. So I'm guessing they're magnetic bookmarks. Are they fandom? Oh, that's, oh, oh wait, oh wait a minute. <laughs> wait, what? Hold on. Is that Truth Teller? Who's the middle one? Poise? The, there's like a, a vial on it. Okay, we have three bookmarks. They're pink purple, but I swear this one is Truth Teller from Equitar, isn't it? I can't tell the other two though. I'm gonna be like, as soon as I read it, I'm gonna be like, oh, of course it is. But like right now I cannot tell. Or maybe these are just not like, One Dark Window? Drawing inspiration from Rachel Gillick's no, it wasn't an apple pin. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Revenge takes on an elegant shade of pink with these cruel intentions, magnetic bookmarks. Indulge in their beauty and add a touch of glamour to your reading experience. They're not inspired by any book, but I swear this one kind of reminds me of Truth Teller. But that's why I can't place the other two, because I don't know. It's the, it's the wings. Like, it's the wings. Okay. Anyway. Cool. I never use these, to be honest. Uh, magnetic bookmarks. I don't know why. I have a ton, but I never use them. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to start doing that now. <laughs> Love the color choice. Very happy with the color choice. Love a good pink purple vibe. So let's move on to this. This says Monsters Family Crest Coaster Set. So I am guessing this is this is uh, inspired by Only a Monster because they have monster family crests in Only a Monster. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> it's Nothing is happening. Hello? Oh, it literally says, only a monster coasters. Okay, I got it, I got it. So we have the sirens slash mermaids. We have the what? Uh, Cerberus dog thing. Actually, doesn't that have two, three heads? I don't know, I'm gonna call it Fluffy. We have a fox. I don't know who that is. <laughs> we have a fox. <laughs> anyway, and lastly, we have a phoenix? A phoenix. I don't, are these really inspired by, I swear I do not remember, other than this one because Aaron from that book is from this family. The other ones I do not remember, but okay. Maybe this will give some clues. We have magnetic bookmarks, that's what we just opened. Uh, we have uh, coasters. <laughs> I feel all over the place today. These pastel coasters showcase the family crests from Vanessa Lenz's captivating novel, Only a Monster. It's a pretty good book, just wanna say. Just just wanna say, like a pretty good book. I enjoyed it a lot, but it does not give any uh, clues as to what the family crests, like who they're 
and I can't remember, but I'm sure that they're actually correct. I just cannot remember. It also says that these are inspired, or these are designed by Blue Li Bu, which is a cute name, by the way. Pastel. I would say these are not like, I don't know if I would call them pastels. Like these are definitely not pastel. There's some pastel colors in this, but not so much in this. And like overall, not really past pastel, pastel, pastel. So, but I can't really go around. Still cute though, I'm just currently using another set of coasters. So we're not gonna be using these for a little bit. Where can I put it so that you can see it? Here? Yeah, that'll work. Then we have the Nightmare Pin. This is the one that's inspired by One Dark Window. I forgot what that book was called for a second. I literally read it out loud <laughs> a little while ago. I don't, is it just like, it just says the nightmare. I don't, I don't know. I, this, it's not really giving much, much. One of the Providence cards. Oh, so it is inspired by like a card, like a tarot card situation, sort of. It says, drawing inspiration from Rachel Gillick's One Dark Window, this enamel pin beautifully captures the nightmare, one of the Providence cards. Okay, well, I actually heard that some other people got the wrong pin in their boxes, but apparently it's like, people really love that pin, which is kind of funny. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I actually thought this whole box was gonna be purple, so when I put, pulled that out, I was like, Okay, I see, I see a theme and now we're like all over the place again. Don't know. Then we have this, which is one of the, it's collection of magical tomes. I have the first one, which is like a green one. Do I have easy access to it? Probably not, right? It's like right below me. Okay, I have it. So the first one looked like this. It says portal magic on it. A beginner's guide to portal magic. I do love these. They're great to store like stuff in, bookmarks, tabs, whatever you want to use. What, what do I have in this one? Tabs. <laughs> Of course I do. So this one looks like it's going to be purple. The Book of Fate hollow book. I'm guessing it's the Book of Fate. Something really cool, this one's kind of funny. Something really cool about these new ones is that they have like, they look like, you know, it's like there's some art on the inside as well that makes it look like it's actually like a hollowed out book. But it says the Book of Fate and I think it says the same on the spine. These are like super pretty. Oh, it's like a, an hourglass. That is cool. So the two side by side. Yeah. We we feel a vibe here. Do we? We we do. I feel like we kind of do. I love the purple. I need more purple items in my life. You would think being subscribed to Fairy Loot would give me access to a lot of purple items, but surprisingly no. I feel like a lot of people say like they do a ton of purple books, but I have been subscribed to them since the start of 2022, I think and I've gotten maybe like one purple book or something. I don't know. So this says secret book designed by Chatty Nora. And then it says discover the enchanting book of fate, the second volume in our secret book collection of magical tomes, safeguard your fairly collectible tarot within its pages. Okay, pages. Mine are in a photo album just to keep them extra safe. So I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna do something else with it. Where can I put it though? Right behind my head. Yeah, that, that'll fit. <laughs> and then lastly we have socks and these are actually like not like crew socks but ankle socks. Is that what it's called? Or maybe it's the other way around. Oh these says crew socks. I'm confused. Crew socks designed by Jess Hawk. And it says they're inspired by the Wicker King by Kate Ancrum. I have not read that book. I think the cover is like, doesn't have some gold on it? Like a golden-ish kind of color. So let's see. I do like getting socks though. As long as they're not like ankle socks then because um, ankle socks, unisex ankle socks, this is not a thing. <laughs> Just want to say, not a thing. So here's the motif, if you can tell, if you've read the book, maybe you can recognize something. I personally cannot because I've not read it. So they're nice though, they're nice. Wait, if I do like this, you literally cannot see <laughs> the motif on it. Didn't really think about that. We're gonna do like this. Place them next to our magnetic book where you can't, you, you literally cannot see. Cardin, you gotta go. He's always in the way. He's always in the way. No. Beautiful. Stunning. And then we have the book. Oh wait, no. First we have the tarot cards, which are definitely, wait, what? Oh, why is she even armor? These are Sorcery of Thorns, um, as you can probably tell. Yep, we have Nathaniel and our lead girl whose name I've forgotten, which is quite awkward. What's your name? Sweetie, what's what's your name? The tarot card set features Nathaniel as the page of stars. 
he's right here and he has the cat as well. If you know, you know. And then Elizabeth as the Knight of Stars. These characters are from A Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson and were illustrated by Rosalind Arts. Very cool. I like them. I like this like silver streak they have through their hair. It makes sense. If you read the book, you know. If you know, you know. I don't, I, yeah, I was about to say I don't know, but I have read the book, so I do know. <laughs> anyway, let's put these away. And now we get to the book. You literally cannot see. Wait, you literally still cannot see her. It's fine. Now we get to the book, though. So, I cannot remember exactly. I think it's redesigned, a redesigned cover, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've gotten it spoiled, but like, I'm still like, was it a redesigned cover? <laughs> we have a bookmark. Cool. A, a stabby girl. We love stabby girls. Definitely a huge plus. I'm gonna use this bookmark whenever I read something with a stabby girl in it, which is quite often because I love stabby girls. We have a fairy scoop that we're gonna look at in a second. And we have... Oh, right. We, oh, it's cute. Look at this art. We, <laughs> look at the art. It's so good. I, I like it a lot. Oh, they look good. Anyway, we also have a letter. If you want to read it, you can pause the video right here. Feel free to do so. This is the way. That's, that art is really good. It's really good. And then we have the book, which ironically is seemingly actually purple. Oh, it's not redesigned. Wait, what is the... Uh, like, they were, wait, which book did I see then? Maybe it was another book box. I don't know. So we have Threats That Bind by Kika Hatsupolo. Um, I do not know how to pronounce her last name, but that's... Fear. This is a lot of silver foiling. Wow. I think this is actually only on paperback in Europe slash UK. It has like a papery kind of dust jacket. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that, but like that kind of material dust jacket. Oh, we have printed edges that are purple and I love them. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know exactly. I think these are the symbols of the three, maybe it's not, the three fates. Maybe it's, maybe it's not. I swear I've, I've read this synopsis so many times and I still don't remember what this book is about. That does not make it, it's not a bad thing. I just genuinely do not, do not remember. I read a lot of synopses, so like, they kind of come and go, you know? <laughs> but these edges are super nice. Mine are a little bit off-centered, but it's not by much. I will say there's like a few, because the pages are slightly wonky in this book, um, the way that it's bound, but it's no biggie. And then it also has these black pages that does leave a line through the edges, but there's nothing to do, like you can't really do anything about it. So that's a thing. Let's see what we have underneath the dust jacket though. Oh, this is the cover that I saw. That's so funny. Anyway, so we have some foiling on the naked cover and this is of our lead girl most definitely our lead girl we also have cool end pages that look kind of sci-fi like the moons kind of sci-fi not a whole lot going on like maybe i would have wanted a little bit more color instead of just like plain purple if you get what i mean in the back we have our boy i can't remember what his name is eo or is that her name edai his name is edai her name is eo eo and Edai. I'm not pronouncing those names correctly, but you know, it's fantasy, so <laughs> what do you do? And then we have Inside Dust Jacket Art that does have a reversible uh, art, piece of art on it. And this was the cover that I saw. This is what I got spoiled, which is why I was so confused when I opened the book, or when I pulled out the book. I was like, wait, that's not, huh? <laughs> that's not what it looked like. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a thing when you're part of like book sell trade, book buy sell trade groups on Facebook as well. You kind of, people are not good at covering spoilers and stuff. So it's easy to do. Just make your first picture in your sell post, make a spoiler warning instead of just putting the book up there as the first thing and then adding like a spoiler warning in the description. People look at the pictures first, you know? But anyway, definitely a color change because the, the original is pink and green. Um, this is more like purple pink, which Ironically, I just did say that I haven't really gotten a lot of purple books. I can add one more to that tally now. As for the synopsis though, in the city of Alante, the descendants of the Greek gods live alongside mortals. 
Io is Moira born, descendant from the fates. She can see threats, shimmering silver lines connecting every person. When a relationship is formed, a new thread appears. When a person's life thread is cut, it's their time to die. Io uses her gifts as a private investigator, trying to make ends meet in a world which treats other born people like her with suspicion and prejudice. Then Io is witness to a murder, but this is no ordinary murder. Io can see that the killer's life thread is severed, they should be long dead. More complicated still, there is another witness, Edai, a member of the violent Rossi mob who rule Alante. And what Io can see immediately, although Edai cannot, is that there is a bright silver faith thread connecting them. This boy is her destiny. Io and Edai are thrown together to solve the case, and as Io grapples with the dark secrets lurking beneath Alante's surface, she must decide whether to embrace her fate and give in to the feelings growing between herself and Edai, or whether to cut the threat and set him free. So we got a little bit like faded, faded people. I don't want to call them mates. I read a lot of fairy books or fate books. Anyway, faded, faded people. Yep, that's what I'm going to stick to. Okay, very excited about this. Um, yeah, not super. Well, actually, I don't mind the cover to be honest. I don't mind it. I was about to say I'm not a super big fan, but I actually don't mind it. And I like the silver foiling going throughout. It's a lot, but I, it's a lot on camera, especially because like the lighting is going a little bit mayhem. Um, but I hopefully you can see it without like lighting up too much. So that was book one, which I'm gonna place in front of the items because I place myself really terribly in my office and I can't use those shelves down there. This says that your edition of Threads That Bind comes with an exclusive cover. It's a colorway change, a reversible dust jacket, digitally sprayed edges, artwork on the end papers, foil on the heart cover, and it is signed by the author, which I'm pretty sure it's just, it says JK, right? Like that says JK. Like she was writing down her signature and was like, JK, you're not getting one. I don't, it's fine. <laughs> JK. So. The only thing I'm worried about with these dust jackets is that when you read it with the dust jacket on, this takes a lot of damage from oil in your hands or from like, you know, because you have oily skin naturally. So sitting with this for many hours holding it is actually going to damage the dust jacket a lot more than it does with something like this kind of dust jacket, which doesn't have that papery feel to it. So that's why I'm a bit like, hmm, it's not great. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure since this is actually a paper ex or paperback exclusive book, um, or like exclusive paperback in at least UK Europe, I'm fairly certain it is, but I could be wrong about it. But if it is, they would have had a choice to make it some other material. Um, Penguin at least could have made it some other material. So that's a thing, but we're gonna deal with it. It's fine. It is okay. I'm just not gonna read it. <laughs> I have another edition of it, so it's fine. It says describe Threats that bind in five words. Fate with murder sisters and soulmates. Okay, cool. So that was the first one. Let's continue on to this bad boy, which I'm gonna just leave that here for now. <laughs> okay, but I've totally seen this book though. Um, I can't remember where, probably on a Discord server. So I kind of already know. They didn't go for the colorway that I thought they were gonna go with, which is kind of surprising, but Eternal power is our theme. So I actually skipped the August book, so we're not getting that one. I think I'm gonna skip the September one as well because the books are just not for me. So for the next two months, we're only getting YA boxes. When I say we, I mean me. We have ourselves a letter, I think, with some, oh, stunning art on it. Very, very cool vibe. And then if you wanna read it, you can pause the video right here and do so. Is that a cat or is it a cat? There's a cat. I'm gonna cover the other cat. As for the book itself, we have Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. And the original colorway is like, wait, I've forgotten, haven't I? Teal? It's teal and red? Yeah, it's teal and red and, or like a green teal kind of color in the background instead of the blue. And then the lanterns, lanterns are still red. I've seen another one, which is the Waterstones, which has like orange lanterns. I genuinely thought they were gonna just change it to purple. <laughs> like, I don't know. But I also don't, maybe lanterns just don't come in purple. Maybe that's a thing. Not loving the blue and red color combination. I'm not gonna lie, it's just not really for me. But wow, these are very off-centered. Are they supposed to be this off-centered? Hotterscape. Ugh, I have a problem with Hotterscape's edges by now. This is like the third one. 
I'm gonna have to figure out if this is supposed to be this off center because like half of her is cut off as you can tell like she's just half of her is gone so I'm actually gonna go look to see if other people have shown their edges because that kind of bothers me I'm pretty sure that she's not supposed to I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be in the center the thing about Hutterscape's books is that the way they bound them or bind them you get like these like how can I show this on cam you get these like chunks of pages so like it's like you can see it best over here if the camera will focus like it's like split up in like 20 I don't know how to explain it it's it's clunky it doesn't look right I don't know how to explain it you can probably tell from down here maybe if the camera will focus because the camera has a tendency to not do that but like you see there's like lines because of the way that the book is bound it's a thing and it's bothering me especially with this one because it's a it's making the otherwise like a little bit watercolory motive motif sorry not motive motif a little bit wonkier than it already is not my fate oh no <laughs> wait that's kind of cool okay i like th this this is okay like this is okay this is kind of cool blue and red together like this is kind of cool but generally i don't really like it for the dust jacket this is this is a vibe though but i think it's because it's just so it's her face with her flowy hair as well like that's kind of cool what do we have in here i like this vibe as well this is this is nice a nice city vibe with a badass woman with a with a sword i like that oh and we have a guy in the back yeah i, I really like this vibe like the lines with the light on him whereas the rest is like super dark but like just this like line of light i like it and the city vibe i love the city vibe like you can see it on her too this line of light running down here that's a good look it's a good look i think we have we do oh we have some inside dust jacket art and it's a reversible dust jacket um as well so there's a title and everything a spine look how badass she looks like look look at the badassery look at the badassery it's pretty cool she's a babe confirmed babe oh if you want to see by the way it does have edges at the top and also in the bottom as well oof i just need to know if mine are like severely off center because i don't love it <laughs> i don't love the fact that half of her is basically cut off you know like it kind of bothers me like there's so much space over here you know so we're gonna have to i'm gonna have to figure that one out i don't love this edition just want to say the end paper style is very cool the reversible dust jacket style is very cool but i'm not a big fan of this color combination and something that can really make or break a book is the edges these ones because this motif here is like watercolory it's not super high defined it looks wonky on the edges that are already wonky as it is because of the way that hotterscape makes their books so i don't love it this this i don't love it anyway i think it would be cool if it was a more defined motif on edges that don't that aren't bound like this um but anyway if you want to read the back as well tear down a lover rebuild the kingdom oh and it does have like a you can't see it. there you can here there's a number yeah cool but oh wait there's something behind the book <laughs> I forgot for a second. I want to make this quick because I'm pretty sure these are going to fall down. But I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm very excited for this book to read it. Just not really fully loving the edition. <laughs> but it is what it is. You can't always... It's not... all. It can't always be a win. You get what I mean? I um, hope you enjoyed this unboxing though. Leave your thoughts down below if you've read either of the books. Leave your thoughts on them down below as well if you, if you want to. My camera really cut me off. But if you want to at least. If you want to share, feel free to do so. What is my favorite item? It's a tomb. I love it. The tomb? Did I just say the tomb? When did I... The tome. I, I, it's fine. Anyway. Um, but let me know which one was yours as well. However, that is all I got for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed it. There'll be plenty more unboxings up on the channel. I'm still missing my other two July ones. So actually three. I'm missing my three other July ones. So they'll come at some point. I think one of them just got shipped yesterday. So it'll be here in like two weeks and the other one there's one on its way a third one which hasn't been shipped yet we have a lot of unboxings to do in the future and that's just july we're going into august very soon as well hope you enjoyed this one though and if you want to see more videos like this from me but also book hauls there's one coming up soon a bookshelf tour coming up soon reading vlogs and all the other booktube stuff definitely consider sticking around by clicking on the subscribe button however i'm gonna leave you to it so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye you know you know you're beautiful you know you're beautiful and it's
знаешь.